New at noon, two iconic businesses in our area are worried about their future as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. CBS 13's Rachel Wolf now with the crippling effect on small business. Some concerned they're actually going to have to shut down for good. The phone has stopped ringing. I mean, people don't know what to do. Florist Jim Rellis says in springtime his business blossoms, but this year the coronavirus killed it. Even if we try to stay open, uh, some of our suppliers are shutting down. The San Francisco flower market is shut down. He's cut hours in half along with staff. There's a lot of uncertainty. Jessica Bender has worked here for three years and says she's taking it day by day. I'm sort of like cross that bridge if we get to it. Rella says he just got his last shipment of flowers in, but he's not going to be ordering any more because he just doesn't know what the future brings. Many weddings have been canceled through April, along with floral arrangements for church services. And school events like prom and graduation are doubtful after the governor predicted schools would close through summer. Then there are his biggest holidays, Easter and Mother's Day. If this goes through Mother's Day, we will definitely probably be shutting down. The Sacramento News and Review says the coronavirus impact is black and white. Decreasing ad revenue and the closure of distribution centers like bars, restaurants and stores force printing to be suspended and 40 staffers to be laid off. Uh, of course, a little bit somber. They're still trying to serve their half a million readers in Sacramento, Chico, and Reno. We got a, um, a donation yesterday, um, and we're looking for donations, and we're going to be able to keep the editorial staff um, going for a little while, doing their stuff online. Rella says he, too, may have to rely on donations to keep his doors open. It's going to cost us to process these flowers to give away for free. That is not how you make money. Rellis has called Congresswoman Doris Matsui looking for help for him and other small business owners in this predicament. He says if he can't get help immediately, he worries he could close as soon as Monday. The Arden Fair Mart also announced it's going to be closing its doors temporarily. It's one of the largest retail centers in Sacramento's area and one of the largest sources of tax revenue. We talked to one person who says he doesn't know even if he can file for unemployment because of this. I didn't receive any sort of status change, so as far as I know, I'm still like employed. They just, you know, my mall is closed, so I can't do anything about that. The city's largest hotel, the Hyatt Regency, also announced its closing today through May 10th, impacting some 200 workers.